Hi, my name is Guy Opperman. I'm the Minister for Pensions. I'm here at Elmhurst Primary School. Can I come I've over some year sixers who are going to be asking me questions. A great opportunity to be a part of a Pension Awareness Live and really make the case uh, that everybody should know and have an awareness of their pension on a long-term basis. I am with the amazing Siana Abdul Tasnuba and Shifa who are going to chat to me, grill me with some questions and are going to uh, give me some uh, opportunity to try and explain what it is we do in Parliament. Have you met the Queen? I have met the Queen. I've been to Buckingham Palace. Uh, I have met the Queen and been around the palace. The Queen is this amazing person. She's quite small. She has beautiful skin and uh, she's incredibly polite. What was your dream job when you were a child? I wanted to be a professional steeplechase jockey and uh, that remains my dream job. But I am too old, too fat, and not good enough. Oh, don't say that first. What do you want to be when you grow up? I love to sing. I really love to be a singer when I get up. Okay, so I'm going to be seeing you on X Factor in 12 years' time. Maybe, who knows? Okay, how about you, mate? I want to be a footballer. I would like to be a part time professional debater because I absolutely love debating. Okay. And I, but I'd also want to be a doctor, as well as a Prime Minister, if I get the chance. Okay, so there's, there is absolutely no reason why you couldn't do all those three things. Wait, really? Absolutely. So my advice to you would be, go and get a career, do something, doesn't matter what, and become a doctor. And Lord knows I need doctors, I spend a lot of time in hospital, I've broken, I think I've broken 19 or 20 bones. Uh, and there's time enough to be a Member of Parliament. So what do you do as a pensions minister? My job, put really simply, is to get this country match fit for the future. All right? And to ensure that as many people as possible have short and long-term savings. What is pension? Easy answer. It's long-term savings. There are short-term savings, you know, savings for uh, buying your mum a birthday present, buying uh, something that you really want. Uh, and then there's long-term savings for when you retire. That's, there's no difference in reality. Were you always good with money when you were a child? No, <laughs> most definitely not. Um, I did lots of Saturday jobs to try and help and try and save money, but I spent far too much of that and I didn't set aside enough. Do you both have savings? Yes. Okay, I how do you keep them? In a jam jar account? Or? I have this book thing that opens up as a box. Oh, really fantastic. So you've got a little savings box. Uh, so what is a gender pe pension gap? Okay, so there is the difference between men and women, and we've come huge strides forward, uh, but we're trying to ensure that there is no difference in terms of the retirement savings that you have as compared to men. How is it like working with Boris Johnson because he's such a big figure? To, in the whole of the United Kingdom, and he has a lot of power. He uh, is a very uh, bouncy, charismatic, interesting man, and um, is clearly very, very capable at many things. And uh, it's, it's an interesting uh, uh, opportunity to serve in his government, put it that way. Would you like to be the next Prime Minister, or do you want to remain the Minister of Pensions? You've got to like what you do, uh, because you never know how long it'll last and I really like this job. We're making 30 to 40 year decisions that will be affecting you and your kids and your grandkids. And also, uh, if you are Prime Minister, it is an enormously difficult job. And there's one golden rule with Prime Ministers, they age really fast. They go grey really quickly and the lines, you know, they get a lot of those very quickly. That's one job marked off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what advice would you give to a person who would want to become a future Prime Minister or MP? Get to understand yourself. Um, and I always say it to everybody, if you want to change the world, look in a mirror. Start with yourself, alright? And uh, start with how you live your life, how you live your life with your family, your friends, your colleagues. And uh, work out why it is you want to be a member of Parliament. What are the House of Parliament like? So, it is amazing, huge, miles of corridor. I'll tell you a quick story. When I first arrived there, I had to go to uh, the House of Lords, and you go down miles and miles of corridors, and I thought I was going to a meeting, and I opened a 
door and at that moment my phone went so I went to pick up my phone and I kept walking and then the door shut behind me and too late I realized I was in a cupboard. I then fell over, I lost my phone, the light went out because the door closed behind me and I had to be rescued by a police officer who went, don't worry sir, this happens all the time. I have one more question. Yeah, go on. Can then. you allow children to be members of parliament? Yes, there is a thing called the youth parliament, genuinely is. So there's a thing called the youth parliament, you come and you debate in November during half term um, we have the youth parliament and you can represent your local community. I have met many of my um, youth parliament, you're elected as well, uh, from your local community. Many schools run uh, youth parliament elections uh, and you guys are probably year six is a little young for it, but uh, I can assure you, yes you can and you really should do it. It is an amazing opportunity. So the, the one thing I want you to take away from this is if you want to change the world, what do you do? Look in the mirror. Yes. Look in the mirror. Thank you very much.